All right, welcome back to this tutorial series on how to make a pretty simple house in Revit. Uh, got my camera going. Uh, let's get going. All right, so we got the foundation. This is not going to have a basement at all. So if we go to like an east elevation here, we can see this only goes down seven feet. But now it is time to put in the first floor. So when you think of floors, floors go down from a level or some sort of position. You gotta make it on a level somewhere. So we have the O2 top of foundation wall and now we're gonna make our first finish floor. And so go ahead and go to architecture level and just to show you some things about this is you click anywhere and you can drag it, you can align it you can hit escape, you can grab these little points, it's just a visual, this level goes on for eternity, it's not like it stops, but this is just, they use a center line to show you, you click on it, you can lock it, uh, it is locked now because I aligned it with the edges, which is nice, makes it look nice, and right here we can set the height here, or you can set the height, the actual height, the absolute height, this is the relative height off the last one, uh, whatever, level it's right below it so we can do that and we're just gonna make this really simple we're gonna make this floor one foot so I'm just gonna type in one foot right here just like that and now you got a problem here it's all messed up and uh, things are over top of each other so you want to click on the level itself and right here it's really hard to see but there's this little squiggly line it's called the elbow and what I'm gonna do is click that, and now I have two different points. I got this blue dot and the top dot. And so basically, I'm just trying to get that to work its way around my other level. And you can drag it up. You know, this does not affect the height of the level at all. It's just for visual. All right, so let's rename this thing. Call this 02. And it'd be the first finished floor, maybe, maybe not. We're we'll just call it first floor. And always say yes. Probably click this and just say yes now. So we definitely always want this to show up. And you can see how this cascades down in a nice alphabetical order here. All right, so. Now that we have this beautiful floor, or level, it's time to make a floor. Alright, so let's go click on the first floor. And notice we can't see anything, because we're on that floor, and what this has to do with is the view range. So we're in this, go ahead and make sure you hit escape. You can see right here, this is the view that we're in, and we are on 04 floor and over here in the properties we're in floor plan so scroll on down to right here where it says underlay so our base range is none so basically we're just looking at whatever's on that level so we can go all the way down to the footing if you want apply and now we can see that the foundation and apply you can't see the foundation top because it goes to the level and doesn't go anywhere below. So actually we need to go back down to the footing. All right. Because if you remember, the top of the foundation wall goes up to the foundation wall on that level. It actually doesn't go to that, that level or like past it. All right. So we are now in, we have this set up, top range for sure. And once we have more floors, you can change that. So you can see multiple levels going on at the same time. Now it's time to make floor. So at the top here, what we have is floor right here. There's a drop down menu. There's all sorts of other things you can do, but we want the first one, which is the preset one that's already on. And we have a generic for uh, generic 12 inch floor, but let's go ahead and kind of make this more realistic because this is just a big blob. And so I'm gonna use the generic floor system and hit duplicate. I'm just going to call this first floor. 
still going to have 12 inch but we're going to do some things to it so we're going to click edit structure and we're going to try and make this a little bit more realistic whoops all right so here is the structure and by category it's material we're going to fix in just a second but if we're thinking real lumber we're thinking a 2 by 10 or a 2 by 12 or something like that let's just go with a 2 by let's go with a 2 by 10 so 2 by 10 would have uh, nine and a quarter for height actual so you can type it in like that go ahead and hit enter and it should come up into fractions and so we have that total height all this information going on here materials go ahead and click that and now we can we can make new materials we can do all sorts of fun stuff but down here at the bottom softwood lumber so it's going to be standard lumber uh, piece of wood here. Now, if you think about this logically, there's actually a sill plate that's underneath this, so it's actually going to have a sill plate that goes all the way around that the floor actually sits on, so we might as well just add that to it. So let's go ahead and hit insert, and once you have it, you can click on the number here and then say move down so it's underneath and structure sure we're going to name it softwood lumber again and this is going to be one and a half since it's going to be a two by six or two by something on its side whoops too many lines there all right so what are we at we're at 10 inches and three fourths so we can also do insert and go up and put it on the top part. So now it's not on the core uh, and really doesn't matter for what we're doing for this. But right here, this is not going to be structure. This will be a substrate. And this one, I think there's a plywood. There it is, plywood sheathing. And let's go ahead and make it three fourths. And now we're at 11 and a half. And this is the part where we could add a flooring, something a half inch, something at the very top. You could do, you know, you can put down all sorts of things that correspond with that sheathing and tar paper and all sorts of things. We're not going to get into that. So we're actually going to leave it right there. It's just fine. We did 12 inch and we can change that in just a second. We can actually go through and fix that later on. Alright, so let's go ahead and just hit close. Okay. And let's go ahead and hit rename. Instead of 12, let's call it 11 and a half. I like using decimals. You don't have to. You can click on it. Rename it. You can use fractions, I believe. Let's see. Yep. So, there you go. Oops. Except I named that wrong one half there we go we got our 11 and a half and go ahead and click OK and now all you gotta do is over here you have boundary lines and you have all these different choices so we can click the box rectangle because it's just a rectangle or you can click lines or you can actually click walls which it defaults to and might as well do that since these are actual walls and I'm just gonna go ahead and click all the walls Notice the line is on the outside, so it is all the way on the edge. You want to make sure it doesn't go to the inside edge. And if you hit escape, because we picked a wall, uh, sometimes it grabs the inside edge, but we're, we're good with that. All right, so go ahead and click OK or the checkbox here. And now let's go to 3D and I'll show you something that happened here. So it went down on that level, but notice our level was at 12 inches and we made our floor at 11 and a half. So we need to go back and adjust that level if we want to do it this way. We could actually offset it down 
uh, quarter of an inch and that way it keeps our levels nice and easy so two different ways you can do it. you can go ahead and change this you know, click on here and you can I think it shows up yep we could change this to 11 and a half if you want or you can click on this and actually go to an height offset and set this to negative just to show you negative 0.5 inches so you can see that it's sitting now on the foundation wall but if you do that you have to do that consistently through all your levels for the next wall so I just control Z that to undo it and I'm gonna do it a little different way I'm gonna go ahead and just change this so I'm actually clicking on here instead of typing it right here I'm gonna go back to my one over here, wherever that dimension is, just gotta kinda pan around and find it. Let's do 11 and a half. So there it is, there it is, perfect. All right, now we're gonna add some walls next. So let's go ahead and, and here's another tool. If you click on one of these levels, right up here, this little box with the three boxes coming off it, this is called Create Similar. This I use all the time, because it's like, where is this tool at or what is this thing I don't want to go through and go through all the drop down menus and look for it boom I click on it I click create similar I'm right in level again and I like to make this look kind of nice so and we're gonna do eight foot ceilings for this one and this one I'm actually gonna stop right here because there's no point going over here and making it all messy when I got all this room So this is gonna be zero three first floor ceiling boom there's our first floor ceiling and let's go ahead and jump into our first floor plan right here and you can see see how the lines are a little bit gray that means that it's an underlay so we can see that that uh, foundation wall is underneath and the hard lines or the the dark lines those are what's actually on this layer and you can actually see if you put your cursor over it and just wait floor floor family first floor blah 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 all right so let's go ahead and make a wall so grab and grab wall and again we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go ahead and grab the six inch generic. And again, these are just like blobs. I don't like using those. So six inch generic, I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm just gonna call this exterior wall. And we'll call it six inch, even though it might not end up being six inches. All right, so exterior wall, six inch. I'm gonna go again into edit. If we're thinking of using two by sixes, which is pretty standard now, we're gonna do five and a half. That's an actual versus nominal. And I'm gonna go back and grab that softwood lumber. Click okay. And I'm gonna insert and move this one to the up. So this is the exterior side, notice this, this is the interior side. So this is also gonna have my substrate and I'm gonna add my siding as a modeling thing later on. So this one, we're gonna use the plywood material. And again, this is just what it looks like. Yeah, plywood material. Let's put three force on the outside. And insert, down, 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 down. Grab this one substrate again or we could say finish I guess oh uh, no I'll leave the substrate and this one's gonna be gypsum wallboard so this is gonna have gypsum wallboard also known as drywall or sheet rock all right and this is gonna be half inch actually let's make it three fourths why not so now it's seven inches total so that's good that we did that I want to make this as you know accurate as possible so I'm gonna go rename change that to seven 
This is our seven inch exterior wall. Go ahead and click OK. Now, just like before, uh, right up here we have height unconnected. We're going to go to um, the first finished ceiling. And I definitely want to have the finish face exterior. And I'm just going to click and walk all the way around my house, my box. It escaped a bunch of times. I'm going to go to 3D view. And if you did it right, and sometimes you just don't know what side, it's usually clock, it's, uh, clockwise when you're working on the face. So you can see that the inside is gray, and the outside is this cream color. And that's because that's plywood, and inside's the drywall. So everything is going very good. House is getting there. Hopefully, you learned something, and wait till the next video.